It's showtime! Hey, yo, what up, Fight World Super Boxer Fanatic? I'm back with another one. Tomorrow night is going down. Demetrius Andre versus David Benavidez. Jamal Charlo versus Jose Benavidez. The weigh-in, I just finished watching it. It was getting real chippy with Jamal Charlo and Jose Benavidez. Hey, yo, what up, you guys? It's your boy, Boxing Fanatic. Back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest and greatest content. Jamal Charlo ended up missing weight by three pounds. Let's talk about it. So, I just finished watching the weigh-in. Jamal Charlo missed weight by three pounds. Well, he was supposed to fight Jose Benavidez at 160. But, somehow, they did a catch weight at 163 somehow Jamal Charlo ended up coming in at 166 what that go to say was Jamal Charlo uh, wasn't taking Jose Benavidez seriously or did he do that on purpose to have those advantages the strength the power the weight the brains the IQ or did that hurt him come later in the fight? Um, I don't really think so. Jose Benavidez has been in there with, you know, some tough champions. And every time he stepped up, he's always lost. He lost to Terrence Crawford. He lost to Danny Garcia. What goes or make him think that by going up to face another undefeated fighter, and Jamal Charlo, that he won't get knocked out. I mean, clean knocked out. Terrence Crawford sat him down on his ass. Danny Garcia put hands on him. What make him think that he can get past the best jab in the game? I mean, and at that, he's been talking a lot. He's been doing a lot. He's been saying what he's going to do to Jamal Charlo. And, you know, I guess being disrespectful, being chippy, I don't know what's in Jose's mind. I don't know if he's trying to play mind games with Jamal Charlo, thinking that, you know, by Jamal Charlo being slapped by Caleb Plant, getting into it with Jared Hurd, you know, this, that, and the third. I don't know if he's trying to get in Jamal Charlo's head, but I don't think that's going to work, in my honest opinion. I think he only adding more gasoline on the fire. And... He gonna take that out on Jose Benavidez come tomorrow night. Ah, this fight is a must see fight. Must see this this uh, this whole all of these fights on this on this fight card is a must see fight. Um, the keys to victory. I don't see Jose Benavidez doing too much. He might try to press Charlo. You might you might try to tie your Charlo out because being that Charlo been out of the ring for thirty months. And, but he gonna have to go through hell and hot water to get past that jab and Charlo letting that right hand go. Uh, I don't see him doing too much. Now, Charlo, he gonna, he gonna make Jose Benavidez look like a standing punching bag because he don't move his feet. He's there to get hit. Is he game? Yeah, he game. Do he, you know, uh, can he back up what he's saying? We got we don't know until he get in the ring, until he feel Charlo power. I don't know. I just think that this fight will it may throw off David Benavidez fight. It's a lot of pressure on the Benavidez brothers. Now, who I'm taking in the fight? I'm taking Charlo in the fight. Any and I mean, I see him getting knocked out any round in the fight. And uh I won't be surprised if uh, his brother, <laughs> David Benavidez, get beat as well in this fight. But um, let's get to the David Benavidez versus Demetrius Andre fight. Now, they got mutual respect for each other. This whole press conference, you can see 
I mean, it don't take a rocket scientist to figure out, you know, what's going on and the respect that they got for one another. I mean, it ain't no need to be disrespectful. Come fight night, they're going to have to get in the ring. David Benavidez say he's going to knock out Demetrius. Demetrius say he's going to get a win. So I just think that um, a lot of fighters been had been avoiding Demetrius Andre, you know, and he was out. I want to say about two years until, you know, he left the zone and came over to PBC and got a fight in, you know, I think in January. And um, he knocked him down like three or four times in the fight. Um, everybody say that Demetrius Andre can't put away fighters. Now, I know if we go look at David Benavidez's track record, he got a long, extensive track record. And I'm just going to talk about his last fight with Caleb Plant and how he made Caleb Plant uh, look during the back, hand, the back end of the fight. David Benavidez said in this fight, he's going to come out starting fast. Now, I hope that if he come out starting fast, he don't shoot his load so that he'll continuously to have that same type of energy in the second end of the fight. Now, if we already know Demetrius is a front end, a front runner fighter, but I think he gonna try, he gonna try to conserve some of the energy, but still be elusive, still be aggressive, still be more powerful, still be, you know, the person that he normally be in the beginning of the fight. We seen David Benavidez get dropped. We seen both of the brothers get dropped. Both of the Benavidez brothers get dropped. And now, can David Benavidez withstand what Demetrius, you know, the onslaught that he gonna be doing? They both. This is a this is a 50-50. Uh, uh, I think it's gonna be a rock'em sock'em type of a fight where they going back and forth. But I just see uh, how normally how David Benavidez fights normally go. You know, the fighters come out starting fast. You know, and then he come and take advantage over after the end, you know, like the sixth or the seventh round. Then it's like he almost let you tire yourself out. Then he go to, you know, his engine go to getting it going. Um, it's like a pressure cooker. But he better not fall behind the wheel, fall asleep behind the wheel. And David Ben, I mean, and Demetrius Andre go to taking all the energy or taking all that water out the basement with the body shots that I can see in the uppercuts because that's what David Benavidez got dropped by. He got dropped by a body shot. I mean, the uppercut. It was a body shot, then the uppercut. And we already know Demetrius, he's very slick. He's very awkward. The drunken master. A lot of people sleeping on Demetrius, but they, they Mike Tyson gave David Benavidez the Mexican monster name. I don't see the fight going the way it normally go i don't know maybe it does but i just see this is a 50 50 type of fight but my heart is laying on boo boo in this fight normally i will go with david benavidez against any other opponent because i know what he bring to the table i know how he fight you know uh you already know what you're going to get out of David Benavidez. Even though he a straight up and down fighter, he squares up, which, you know, he let you hit him in the body. He let you go to his head. He 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 got okay defense. But with somebody like Demetrius that can punch from all different angles, it's going to be challenging for him trying to cut off the ring. I don't know how he's going to be able to do that and still be aggressive and do what he want to do. I just think that this is going to be one of them fights where he not going to be able to do what he feel like he think he's going to do in this fight. Uh, that's just my take on it. Y'all let me know what y'all think, all right? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace. If you enjoy content like this and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.